At the Greenwood Groove in Nyali, Mombasa, the leaves and branches of trees touching power lines in the leafy neighborhood were cleared by Kenya Power staff. The workers lopped trees and hedges, clearing bushes and cutting down trees. The company is keen to ensure that the mandatory 5 meters on either side of the 11 kilovolt power lines is not encroached on. We attribute up to 70% of the outages that arise arise as a result of this uh, vegetation management uh, challenge. When it rains and there is wind, these lines are touched by that vegetation. On Sunday, Mombasa Governor Hassan Joho warned the company against the activity which he termed as illegal. Joho wondered why Kenya Power consulted the Nyali Residents Association and not the county government. So mini meambia askari wa county. Utakae mpata mtu yoyote, awe ni Kenya Power, awe ni Kenya nini, anakata miti kiharamu, huyo mtu must be taken to court. Miti memea kwa miaka ishirini, unakuja kwa yakata kwa deka ishirini. The company says it is acting on an injunction issued by the Mombasa High Court which restrains the county from interfering with its employees engaged in the exercise. You cannot combine enjoying the, the green environment with provision of this service. It's either or. And because we already have procured this way leave, we, we are here legitimately. Apart from trees, the company has also experienced at least 20 cases of transformer vandalization in some parts of Mombasa. But despite the norm where criminals steal oil or copper windings, they are now going after a powdery substance which allegedly has hallucinatory effects when inhaled. We would uh, raise our transformers above the bowls, above the line, so that if anybody really wants to access a transformer, they must go through a lifeline. Peter Mongangi, NTV, Mombasa.